designers, we're gonna nerd out a little bit for a minute here and talk about macros. Because if you spend a little time to set them up properly, you can go faster as a designer, which means less time spent on designing and more clients through the door. Now, what is a macro? Well, essentially, macros are little sequences of events, like different keystrokes or mouse clicks that can be played back to help with repetitive tasks. With special software, what this means is, is that you can take an existing keyboard, like my Logitech MX Keys for Mac, the Creator Micro by Work Louder, or even this unusual little split setup keyboard called the Digma Define, and turn it into a rocket booster for programs like Adobe Illustrator. Here's an example. This design is a combination of strokes and fills, but I need to export this as a one color flat vector to send to a laser cutter. Normally, I would select everything, go to Object, Rasterize, leave this at 300 PPI and press OK. Then I would Image Trace, click on the Image Trace panel, uncheck Snap Curves to Lines, ignore Color and select White, expand that result and then deselect. That's a lot of steps. But with this macro that I made earlier, you can do all of that with one tap of this key. Now, if you can find 10 tasks inside your software that you do on a daily basis, but there aren't keyboard shortcuts for, and write them down, you can save oodles of time over the course of a career by assigning those tasks to macros. They don't have to be big, like centering something to my artboard, for instance. That requires two separate mouse clicks, and there's no keyboard shortcut for it. But I do this so many times a day that it makes sense for me to set a macro up for it. So in Illustrator, under Window Actions, I can start recording a new action, center an object to my artboard, stop recording, and assign that shortcut to Command Shift F12. But on my main keyboard, that's actually four keystrokes because I have a function button that allows access to the F keys, which means I have to make this ridiculous claw shape with my hands. Instead, I can map those four keystrokes to one button, and now when I want to center something, all I have to do is hit this key. These keyboards I mentioned all come with software to do this, and the Digma Defy and the Creator Micro have custom RGB settings, so you can pretty up your desk a little bit. So take a look, do some research, and see which ones work for you. Be careful though, because mechanical keyboards are a bit of a black hole, and they can become something of an addiction. Clicky switches.